Angle of Elevation at Solar Noon. My informal results, September 22nd, 2017 in Norristown, PA. I hope you'll indulge me a little bit. Normally the videos on my channel are supposed to be helping people make their own measurements, but sometimes I want to have a little bit of fun and do it myself and just kind of share with what, what I've got. Now this wasn't exactly Solar Noon, it was, but it was really close. So in a number of my videos, including the uh, Equinox Observation one, I encourage folks to build their own solar cl clinometer. So that's what I, uh, I used here. And so here's the photo I took a couple minutes after solar noon on the uh, September Equinox. So let's uh, break down. This is actually just a screenshot from my uh, Google Fold uh, Photos because I've got an Android phone. So what was the location? Narstown, PA, latitude of my location was 40.1 degrees north latitude. And what was the date and time? Uh, date and time were, it was uh, Friday, September 22nd, 2017 at 102 p.m. Uh, unfortunately, um, I actually started building my clinometer uh, around uh, solar noon, so it took me a few minutes to get the materials together. Um, so I, I missed solar noon by a few minutes. The solar noon was supposed to be around 12. 54 p.m. So since I did it eight minutes after solar noon, you know, what kind of, how would that mess up my readings? Well, according to sun calc, the sun would be actually about a 20th of a degree lower in the sky, so it shouldn't, you know, it shouldn't really affect things too, too much. So let's do some solar clinometer math, because I, I thought this was kind of interesting. I'm a bit of a math geek. But uh, the solar clinometer has an upside down protractor. Um, and that means if you point it straight up in the air, uh, the string hangs down at the zero degree tick mark. And if you point it at the horizon, the string hangs down at the 90 degree tick mark. So in other words, it, it's not exactly measuring our angle of elevation, it's sort of reverse. So to find the angle of elevation, uh, you subtract your protractor reading from 90. This means it's the complement of the angle. But the relationship between the globe or the sun's elevation angle um, is complementary with one's latitude. So we have to take the angle of elevation and subtract that from 90, the complement again. So if you like geometry, you may know that the complement of a complement is itself. So if you take a number and you subtract it from 90, and then you subtract that from 90, you're gonna get the original number. So this means that we can take our latitude prediction, we can read it right off the protractor scale on the solar clinometer. So here's that photo again. What we're gonna do is we're gonna zoom in. So it looks like we're, we're pretty close to 40 degrees. Uh, we're a little bit a little bit above 40 degrees. You can kind of see the 40 degree tick mark still there. Let's zoom in some more. All right, so there's the 40 degree tick mark in the middle. And let's zoom in even more, okay? And I, I like to have a bit of fun with this stuff. Uh, I'm a bit of a nerd, so I, I, let's, let's uh, actually analyze this photo. Uh, as if we were using a precision instrument. Uh, so we got the width of a tick mark. One of the tick marks is kind of obscured. So let's take the width of a tick mark and duplicate that with the one that's a little covered up. And then let's repeat with the width of the string. Now we don't want six lines. These are just guidelines. We really want the center, the center points. So let's mark the centers of the tick marks and the string. And now we don't need the guidelines anymore. So this is what we're gonna work with. And so let's put up a, a ruler um, measured in tenths because that's kind of easy and we want to read it from right to left so let's reverse the ruler and it looks like we are two tenths of a degree so it's 40.2 degrees is our reading in that photograph and again uh, I was at latitude 40.1 degrees uh, so I thought I, I, I got pretty close now remember kindness is free sprinkle that stuff everywhere thank you